Hi everyone, Jeff Cote here with uh, BoatingTechTalk.com. Uh, we've got a question from a fellow boater, uh, Darth. Uh, Darth lays out the groundwork, says, I've got a four gauge on a 3000 watt inverter. So four gauge is the wire size. And generally that's uh, pretty much the largest wire size that we see aboard a recreational boat is four watt. So it's basically the thickness of pretty, pretty substantial thumb. Let's put it that way. And Darth keeps going and says, I've noticed that the chassis ground on my inverter is very small. That's a bad thing, by the way. Very bad thing. Good on you for noticing. Would it be weird to install a 2820 ga gauge wire to such a small terminal post? Yeah, that's a tough question. We've seen many inverters without name, naming names, and some of them are supposedly designated for marine installs. And marine installs have a code where it stipulates that the chassis ground wire connected to your inverter charger should be at a minimum only one size smaller than the wiring connected to the positive and uh, negative post. So, for instance, in Darth's case, it's not, he should have three aught wiring on that chassis post. But, like he said, you know, in his instance, the terminal is tiny. So what we actually in the past did is actually undo the terminal, install a new bolt, make sure that the bolt had a good connection to the chassis, and actually put a lug directly to the chassis with a new bolt, effectively bypassing the all too often tiny chassis ground connection point that unfortunately doesn't allow us marine electricians to meet ABYC code. So it is a real issue and you cannot, and I agree with the code. This is not a, this, I mean, this is a separate conversation to argue if it should or shouldn't. My opinion is I agree with the recommendation. You should certainly, certainly have only one size smaller chassis ground wire. So we end up having to be creative as a way on how do we make sure that the chassis of that inverter charger doesn't utilize the undersize post, but we either replace it or find a way to actually have a solid and good electrical contact between the inverter charger and that chassis. So I would recommend Darth to install a three aught or four aught connection. If he doesn't have three aught, then do four aught connection between the inverter chassis and inverter charger chassis and uh, his, <clears throat> on this boat, would be his grounding connection, right? And it's a pain, but you've got to do it because I've seen boats that are have 2 aught or 4 aught wiring to the inverter, and the chassis connection is a number 10 wire. Generally, that's down by a household electrician, and they just don't know. It's, it's, not, it's not bad. It's, they, don't, they don't know what they don't know. And so they end up wiring it for house uh, code wiring. And so a lot of you, it's worth checking. What's the chassis ground on my inverter charger? And is it much smaller than the positive and negative? And if it is, that's not to code. And so great question, uh, Darth, and thanks for asking. And thanks for all of you for tuning in and geeking out with me as we try to learn uh, more and more about marine electrical systems. So if you're curious, again, go on our website and find out more answers and solutions with this sort of setup. And thanks for asking. And thanks for all of you for listening and tuning in.